Good morning. I'm just going to let you come on. Hey Joe. Okay, I see I've got people on. All right, I just need to do one thing very, very quickly. Uh, all righty. Okay, I'm done. Hey Jen. Jen, you've got lots of training coming your way today. After this, I'm jumping into uh, the Annie Hustle Society and running the branding, it's part of the branding training, and then we have the Rich Fit Famous Online. So I'll be uh, doing that straight after that. So you're in for um, lots of me today, Jen. Um, great to see so many people on so quickly. And today is my first day back since my trip to Florida, which was incredible. The, the conference itself was very, very disappointing, I have to say. Um, and then also all the bonuses, was, the bonuses that were supposed to come along with our ticket. Again, really, really disappointing. Um, it seems that delivering on promise is not big. Um, when it comes to Grant Cardone Society, um, which is unfortunate. However, um, you know, I still got a lot from that, um, from the trip. I had conversations with some incredible people when I was over there. Um, I probably spoke to maybe four billionaires and lots of millionaires, and you know, there is definitely a lot of money in the States, that's for sure. And what I loved about those conversations was just that, you know, I could have an incredible conversation with those people and they thought I was awesome. So it was good for my ego. Um, and you know, I got to stay in the beautiful um, Hollywood, Florida, and it was such a beautiful area. I've never seen water like it. Hospitality was incredible. Um, I just had such a great time there. My suite was incredible. The food was amazing. Um, you know, I got sick when I was over there, which doesn't happen very often, but the jet lag really smashed me this time around, which is not usual. Normally, um, I, you know, stay awake, have a good night's sleep, and I bounce back. I reckon it took me a whole week to get on top of it, so not usual. And the reverse is true. I came home. I arrived home Saturday night, I think it was. Um, I'd been awake 22 hours or something, but I went to bed, woke up feeling good, got a little bit tired through the day. I'm just going to turn that down. Um, but uh, woke up, you know, went to bed again at a normal time. Hey Lucy, and um, this morning I've woken up full of beans, so no jet lag on this end of the trip, thank God. But um, the other thing that you will have noticed, I only did a couple of lives when I was away. I wasn't going live every day, being sick, having the conference, and just, to be honest, just finding my feet while I was over there, while I was dealing with the jet lag. So I just didn't really feel like I had it in me to give anything of great value. But I'm back, I'm ready to go. Um, it's actually my last day on the planet as a 47-year-old woman. Tomorrow I turn 48. So my intention today is just to enjoy, you know, this very last day of my 47th year. I'm going to be reflecting on all the things that happened over the course of the last year that helped me grant, um, grow and expand. And that last trip was one of them for sure. Um, I had my first ever business class travel experience. And I have to say that was probably the highlight. Incredible. Um, got another business, business class ticket booked for the middle of the year. And... Um, there is no going back. So there's those incremental improvements and incremental upgrades where you take a bit of a leap and then you experience something and then you realize you can't go back. So um, that happened too, which is really amazing. Um, but now I'm going to get on to the topic that I want to talk to you about today, which is about creating um, personal boundaries around your business and your personal life and also about creating balance within your life. And one thing that I learned when I was in the States was that, um, you know, there was no nod to balance at all. And they've basically thrown their hands up in the air and said, you know, balance is a myth, it, it can't happen, um, forget about balance. And if you are trying to achieve balance and you're not working hard enough, blah, blah, blah. And anyone who knows me, hey, Dorothea, um, and knows my philosophy on that stuff, you will know that that stuff doesn't go down too well with me. Um, I believe you can have balance. I believe you can have it all and you can have it all at the same time. But you have to be really super clear about what it is that you do want in the first place and then what you're willing to sacrifice and what you're not willing to sacrifice. Um, <laughs> I'm not Adam, but I'm glad it's speaking to you. Um, and, 
you know, the first thing comes clarity. And, you know, the, the book that launched The Art of Kicking Us Elegantly, you know, I speak about business, love, fitness, and life. And for me, the categories in my life are my business and my health and well-being, so the fitness side of things, and love. And that's not just my relationship, but the other relationships I have in my life that are really important. The relationships I have with my kids, the relationship that I have with my mum, the relationships that I have with my best friends, um, the relationships that I have with you guys, you know, all super, super important. Thanks, Jenny. Um, so for me, you know, there are probably 27 million different categories that I could break my life up into. Um, but for me, it really is about the people that I love, the work that fulfills me and living a healthy life. And then there are the other things that, you know, make life even more rich and enjoyable. It's the things like, you know, enjoying being able to indulge in luxury when I want to. It's things like travel and adventure, you know, they're all really important for me as well. Um, but I try not to have too many things going on in my life at any one time. Um, as I said, I do believe you can have it all and I do believe you can have it all at once. I do believe that you can have a successful business and a healthy life and a healthy relationship and a rich and fulfilling life outside of it. But you have to really want that and you have to really know what that looks like. So when it comes to setting personal boundaries, the biggest thing that you can do for yourself is know exactly who you are and what are the things that make you love life and what are the things that stress you out and what are the things that piss you off. And for me, you know, I am very good at very, very regularly going through my life. If something doesn't feel right and it's like something's off, what is it? And it's, hey, my daughter's on. Hey, Chloe. And for me, it's like, it's what, what, what is it making me feel good? Because at the end of the day, I'm always guided by what feels good. So I was writing out um, a couple of days ago, writing in my journal about, you know, the things that I want to do for the rest of this year in my business. And I'm like, this is, this feels good. This is how it's supposed to feel. This feels good. And that should apply to every single area of your life. You know, if you're in a relationship, so the boundaries in a nutshell come to me from what makes me feel good and what makes me feel like shit, whether it's stressing me out or it's annoying me or, you know, it feels like it's out of my control or what, it, you know, the things that just stress me out. So in all, each of those areas in my life, what makes me feel good and what makes me feel like crap. And then the things that make me feel like crap, I eliminate them. And the things that make me feel good, I do more of those things. And that's how we achieve balance by default. I think when we're trying to chase balance and trying to force it, that just creates unnecessary pleasure, um, pressure. And it also, um, it's kind of one of those things that just keeps moving away from us constantly. So to know that if you break up the areas in your life into sections that make sense to you, you know, I know there's, there can be finance and career and relationships and all that sort of stuff. But for me, I try to keep it simple. And I try to look at, you know, conceptually, this is one big chunk of my life. This is another chunk. This is another chunk. But at the end of the day, it's all life for me, whether it's work, whether it's relationships. So it's all, it all comes under the banner of life, even if it's work. Um, and yeah, be guided by what feels good and makes you feel good and makes you feel more you because we all want to expand into a bigger, better version of ourselves. If we're not growing, we're shrinking. That's just the nature of human nature. So we need to always be conscious of the fact that we need to grow, we need to continue to grow and expand because if we don't, we start shrinking, we start to withdraw and we start to lose momentum and that's when we can find ourselves in trouble, when we can find ourselves feeling really, really stuck. So it's all about this continual movement forward. So. Um, you know, one of the things for me is if I'm not feeling good in my business, if it's not to do with any particular, you know, um, offering that I've got or something like that, it could just be about, um, you know, maybe the time I'm spending in it because for me, balance is really important in time in terms of, you know, right now, um, because I'm back and I've got my things around me and I feel like I just want to be in my office all the time. But I know that if I look back, you know, 20 years from now, um, I'd be rolling my eyes at the fact that I wanted to work more. You know, that's not going to serve me. Working more doesn't make me better at it. So, you know, if I'm not expanding and part of that expansion and growth is, um, you know, honoring 
the boundaries that I set for myself. So that is not overworking and not trying to make busy work because that means I'm going backwards, you know, so it's always about expanding. So really, honestly, just break down the areas of your life into um, areas that make sense to you and then ask yourself the simple question, um, what feels good in this area of my life? And then what makes me feel like crap? So what makes me feel good, what feels good and what feels like crap? What's stressing me out, pissing me off, making me anxious, um, or I'm just not enjoying? And then work on eliminating those things. And then by default, you'll have this balance that you're seeking. Um, this morning before I did anything, even though I was itching to get in here and get live, I've got two other lots of training to do after this. It was really important to me that I got up, I did my journaling, had a cup of coffee, and then headed out the door and went on an hour long walk by the water. I'd missed it while I'd been away, even though I had water and I was walking every day in Florida. Um, there's, it's not the same as home. It's, this is part of my routine. And so for me to come home and immerse myself in my um, regular routine just feels like such a luxury. But for me, it was very important to get out the door and do that first as a priority over everything else and then come back, have a shower, get myself ready, get feel like I'm, I'm ready to go and then here I am. So for me that's balance, you know, not feeling like I have to be at the, um, you know, at my desk by a certain time. It's just, you know, there's a rough time, but for me I will always feel restrained if I give myself a, you know, I've got to be there from nine o'clock to five o'clock. It's just never going to work for me. So that is knowing myself really well and knowing that at some point I'm going to rebel against that and you need to go with that energy. Anyway, I hope that helped ladies and gents. Um, so yeah, in a nutshell, look at the different areas of your life that make sense, break it into areas that make sense to you. Ask yourself what makes me feel great, what, what, what feels good in this area and what doesn't feel good and then really work hard on eliminating that. And also get some clarity around what balance looks like to you. So normally what I find is that it's important to crowd out the things that um, to crowd out the things that are busy work and things that are stressing you out so that you can open up the space to be able to do the things that you really want to be able to do. Um, and you crowd that out by you know making a priority the things that make you feel good. Continue to do more of the things that feel good um, and eliminate the things that make you feel like crap and over time you will have that balance that you're seeking. Anyway, um, that's it. I'm going to head off. I've got some other training to run. Um, if you haven't already joined my Andy Hustle Society, it is not too late. You can join it for 25 bucks today and the branding training, it's a five day boot camp. We start that this morning. Um, so you'll be able to get in there and access that material today. Uh, you can head to the banner on at the top of my page, click on that and all the details are there for the Andy Hustle Society. Um, and stay tuned because it is my... Um, thanks to Rothea. Um, it's my birthday week, so every day I'm going to have something on sale. Something on, at a ridiculous price that is crazy and you're going to want to get on it. So the first one is going to be released this afternoon and then every day this week I'm going to release something at a ridiculous price. So be prepared. That's going to include my Kick-Ass Academy Online. It's going to be the Anti-Hustle Society might, you know, go down to a dollar for the day or something like that. So you want to stay plugged in. You want to have the notifications on on my business page um, and you want to just make sure that you're on my mailing list. So go to theartofkickingasselegantly.com. Uh, and you'll receive the information there as well. But you must be on that list and you must be paying attention because it's only going to be available for a 24 hour period. So um, yeah, every day there's going to be something on sale. So get excited, have your credit card ready and I'll promise that it's something that you won't want to miss out on. Anyway, have an amazing day and I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.